Hello to anyone who may be concerned. I am probably Lawrence and I am here trying to present you with the second episode of Beast Inside. And I see that I was living the last time around chapter 3. Amazing. Let's fucking go. We are in. Okay, so I just jumped down from over. The blood hasn't dried yet. I know. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. I actually have to jump down from here. Okay, alright. Let me go and make some more darkness in my room. I am back. This is absolutely beautiful with no more glaring glaring over my uh, laptop monitor. Oh, I can't go anywhere over. Nice little pond though. How did I access from X? Okay, I need to press X in order to get the quantum whatever the fuck. Blood. Bloody barn. Very bloody. <laughs> sure. Damn it. Closed. Unfortunately, it is closed. Yeah, it is closed. Looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that? Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. Is that I what? I better check what the localizers detected before I go in. Um. Yeah. Sure. Let's see. Which direction? Hmm. Somewhere over there, huh? I mean, okay, all right, but you know. Yeah, I have nothing to use over here to cut the rope. Okay, let's go around. Um, does this path lead anywhere? Or did I came? No, I didn't came from this uh, direction. So, hey, there's a boat, but I don't see. Anywhere else that I can go with that said boat? No. Um, well, I can't use... Oh, it's leaking anyway. Or so it seems. Yeah, it's leaking. And anyway, this little pond is... Well, uh, little. And I can't go through here either. The path is blocked. This thing seems to be blocked as well. But hey. I can use this. Ja oh am I not amazingly smart? Of course I am. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh. Anomaly detected, huh? And where should the next... I don't know what the monitor is trying to tell me. Don't see... Never mind. Did I get rid of it? Wow, 
Well. Huh? I did know. Okay, let's see. What did he hide here? Let me scan again. Maybe we will find out. Or no? Oh, a knife. A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. <laughs> the sound effect. It sounded more like somebody being slapped with a belt. I need to try to get inside. Yeah, a hunting knife cannot cut down some... What is called? Chains. Yeah. <laughs> I can't with the sound effect. But it's okay, let's act like it doesn't break my immersion. Just yet. Maybe it isn't used too much. Oh my god. Um well. Come on. I can do this. See, I'm a smarty. Can I go? I cannot go. No. Okay, let's head inside then. Eek, that's a deer. Well, fuck. I want to. I wanted to jump over here. Not the mu. Actually, it's daylight. Nobody can harm me in, the, God, in daylight. I've done this. This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. You don't say. What do you mean examine the deer carcass? Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Can you? Oh, okay. Um, okay, I have to use something to put down there, maybe, just like before. Yeah, I definitely have to use something like that. This can easily cut through any chain. Oh, good, just what I needed. Wait. Okay, all right. This is interesting. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Oh yeah, just what I needed. And also it looks like it has been used before. Good. This looks locked by a key. Oh, poor dear. I hope the main character washes his hands after that. <laughs> oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. 
It would be very questionable if you wouldn't puke. Or at least, if you haven't said that. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there is the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Uh-huh. Well, anyway. Yeah, and we are gonna act like this door wasn't closed before. Okay. Okay. What is it over here? Oh, I guess nothing. Yeah, it looks like nothing. What the actual fuck happened? Okay, I, I don't want to break the game. Come on, don't be shy, open up. Maybe I can go back using this path. Oh, it um, uh, <clears throat> it seems like it. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. But I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Not locals, my guy. You said it yourself that you have to drive three hours from away from civilization in order to get here. What locals? Where's the wifey? Well, wifey isn't here. Maybe she got out? Yeah, sure, when there is all of this work that it has to be done inside the house, huh? You know, preparing myself for the jump scare. The power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? Oh, true. She's pregnant. <laughs> Jesus, woman. You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? <laughs> yeah, I bet it's full of cash. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine.
Yeah, it's not like she can't move a muscle. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. <laughs> <laughs> Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? <laughs> can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. A wall? There's definitely a wall behind it. Oh. oh shit. I don't like that. Oh god. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Because it Maybe is. If we hang this in the bedroom, he'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. <laughs> I know it hasn't been a joke, but uh, it, it was actually funny. I don't want to be an asshole, but this guy looks like it's gonna ask you to name three songs of the band that you just mentioned that you like. Uh, let's go answer that phone. Oh my god. It looks more like a house now. <laughs> So, the number. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, <laughs> I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams? What happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, o on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And... I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. Hey, you bastard. You didn't waste time. You spent it doing marvelous work. Somebody didn't clean over there or over there. <laughs> well, I guess it's better to leave it like that if it's gonna break either way. Home cooking. 
Yikes. I am the very opposite of a fan of American cuisine. So, the office. Is it here? Oh yes, it's here. God fucking damn, this house is amazing, you know that? It's actually amazing. I don't know how many people in America are living like this, but god damn. Big beautiful house. Hmm. Certainly not a puzzle that I am going to have to solve later. Typewriter? Okay. Mug. Very nice decor. <laughs> Are those cupcakes? Ah, still warm. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. <laughs> so, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Boy, um, just follow the instruction bit. Cover and place the cylinders. Easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my fucking god. Um. Yeah, let me get some pen and paper. Complicated instructions. BRB. Okay, let's calibrate the device. I guess. All right. It's... I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. Oh, these are not cupcakes. That's so sad. Let's see, where's the number two? Uh huh. Then number four. Is this. I believe this is, should be four. Uh, number five to three. And number eight. Four. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. The cogs, huh? Still here? Or what? And how do I set the cogs? Bro. I did the first part. Okay, close the cover. Set the numbers in the windows to the following position. Numbers in the windows. Uh, huh. Okay, alright. I need... 2 14 Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order.
That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fucking job. Bro, it didn't do anything. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? Yeah, good question. How do I set it up? A Roman 5-3-S-T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean, though? And how can I use it to set Enigma up? Okay. 5-3-S-T. I appreciate the fact that he has to ask himself how to load it. And though, uh, you know. So let me get the five. Zero three. And uh, SD and the message is let me check write it down X G okay let's see what what does it say so X G I'm sorry, what? Roman 5, 3, ST. The hints from this piece of paper surely have something to do with the machine. Maybe the code table will tell me more. The code table? Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? Let me go again, but a little slow. Okay, there is, eh, there is an ST. Do I have to use do I have to use this combination maybe? Let me check. So one four seven five. So the solution is right in front of me, I know it. A Roman five three ST. Think Adam, think. We've cracked way more complicated codes. The configuration must be in the table. Yeah sure. So the code X, which is a T. Oh, he already writes it down there. Okay, X G. J. Do I have a dash? I don't. I do have a dash. Okay. Turns out I didn't really need the pen and paper that much. XL C and first no but yourself maybe Y D N Y. If 
trust no one but yourself. Sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Mm-hmm. Now what? Check combinations 29 and 30. Okay, here we go. Still nothing. Fuck. Are you sure, boy? This terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Wait, wait. Okay. Nothing about this. What about the... God, how long yeah. has this been here? Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it, I almost forgot.